Hi, and welcome to Smoke Training. In this episode, we'll fire up smoke for the first time. The main points we'll take a look at is launching smoke, creating a new project, and creating a new user. Right, let's get smoke started. In the previous episode, we put a shortcut to smoke in the dock. Launch the software now by clicking on its icon. You will be presented with the smoke launch screen. To get started, we need to create a new project. A project is the container for your media and sequences. Hit return to confirm the name you just typed. Choose a suitable configuration template. This applies to the project frame rate and how it outputs to your broadcast monitor. Select the resolution that applies to your final editing output in the resolution dropdown. Next up, choose the format you would like Smoke to store the footage you import as, and this is also the same format it will use to create any intermediate render files. You also have the option of having Smoke create proxies for any of your imported footage. Here you can define the setups for proxy creation. There is the option to select your own preferred proxy bit depth and proxy frame size. When you have finalized your project settings, click the Create button at the bottom of the Project Settings window. Next up, creating a new user. Click the New button on the right side. Give your new user a name and hit Return to confirm the name you just typed. If you are coming from FCP7, there is already a pre-configured set of shortcut keys for you. Click the Create button when you are done. Clicking the Start button will now launch Smoke 2013 and finally present you with the default editing interface. That brings to a close this episode of Smoke Training. Thank you for watching. Just a reminder about some of the key points we covered in this episode. A project in Smoke works on the same principles as a project in FCP. The project is your container for all your sequences and media. Depending on your footage, you may have better results working with proxies. And choose the keyboard shortcut settings that suit you. These can be modified once you have Smoke up and running. Oh, my God.